Harry Bulldog here, editor at Total Telecom. Today, we're going to be talking about wholesale roaming and the way the market continues to evolve. And so I'm really delighted to be joined by Billy Oliver, Senior Director of Product Management at Cinevest Technologies, uh, to discuss this really interesting topic. So, so, Billy, thank you very much for joining me today. You're welcome. Good morning. Yeah. So wholesale roaming, this this was formerly very much a, a premium service, but uh, resale prices have, have dropped. And now people pretty much roam wherever they want without thinking about it too much. Would you say that the wholesale efforts on price levels have kind of paved the way for retail in recent years? Yeah, they certainly have. I mean, it's fair to say that wholesale roaming prices have decreased significantly in the uh, in the past decade. But of course, with wholesale pricing decreasing, mobile network operators' margins decrease as well. Now, kind of with the exception of the COVID pandemic, what we're actually witnessing here at Cineverse is that roaming volume is increasing significantly. I mean, we're seeing kind of 30% year-on-year growth. It's kind of a huge revenue stream for operators and really, really interesting one for them. Because as margins are coming down, you have to be more efficient. You know, you have to work smarter, protect those margins and drive up volume. So I know that Cineverse is the industry's largest clearinghouse and you're responsible for clearing and settlement services. Do you see operators kind of reimagining the way they work in this area? Yeah, and they have to. I mean, automation is the key focus, really. So kind of decades ago, the way that it worked is a wholesale roaming price would be published as a list price. And the two operators would agree that price. Um, but it wasn't too long before roaming teams were saying, hang on a minute, <laughs> this list price is pretty high. And what about if I send you uh, more traffic? Can we, can we talk about discounting? And then what, would, what they would do is they would then agree a discount at the end of a discount period, normally around a year, they would, they would settle that discount. So you know that list price does still exist today, but, but roaming discount is, is you know, it's the norm, wholesale roaming discount. I know you've, you've spoken previously about cash and, and cash flow being a really key issue. I think you've described them as the crown jewels of uh, wholesale roaming, which I really liked. Maybe you can uh, explain that a little bit more for us. Yeah, I mean, really, if you think about the, the, the practice of billing and charging for all this wholesale roaming traffic, I mean, what you have to do is kind of transfer the whole amount between uh, the two operators over a year. You know, so you're doing monthly uh, billing to each other on on wholesale roaming prices, but you've agreed a discount with each other. So after that 12 month period, you then need to calculate out, well, how much discount are you gonna give me or do I need to give you on that roaming traffic? And, and that can take a long time to calculate. It may even be you know, a quarter after the end of year period where you may or may not get settlement for that discounted traffic. So if you think of multiplying that by kind of 500 or, or 600 roaming relationships, that's a significant amount of, of, of work. And it, it's really not an efficient way to do it. Yeah, I mean, the, the scale is just enormous. Is, is there, presumably, there must be a better way to do it. Yeah, and there, there definitely is a better way, because what you can do with some of these discount charging models is you can implement them directly into your billing system. However, some of them can be quite complex. And when you're not able to do that, then you can automatically kind of calculate and forecast throughout the year what the end of deal calculation is going to be. And you can accrue for that effectively. So, you know, there's no more kind of working, uh, working all these calculations out, labor intensive. A lot of operators, you'll be surprised to know, still do this on Excel spreadsheets, which of course can be prone to error. I mean, even in those cases, there's there's still a lot of kind of needlessly moving cash in and out of bank accounts, right? How do we overcome that? Yeah, of course there is. And and what you then need to do is apply something called netting, which is quite, uh, you know, it's what everybody does today. And there are, of course, different types of, of netting. Very simple one is is gross settlement where netting doesn't occur at all. Basically, I issue you an invoice, you issue me an invoice, and we both pay each other the amounts of that invoice. That's not very optimal for cash flow. So, you know, what a lot of people do is netting. So we say, okay, you issue me an invoice for $1,000, I issue you an invoice for $500, and then I have to pay you the net of that, which is $500. But here at Cineverse, what we actually do is we take it to another level and we use something called multilateral netting. 
And that's where we have a lot of operators working together. And we are able to calculate quite accurately how much they're each going to pay each other at the end of a settlement cycle. And then we can take the, the receivable funds coming into an operator to help them reduce their, their outgoings for payable. So the amount of funding that they would need to supply to an agent in order to settle their um, payment obligations. So that's a really good way of optimizing that cash flow and keeping cash within the operator organization. You know, it's kind of a, a roaming department's obligation to, to kind of protect those crown jewels. And if we're talking about numbers, some of us were clearing and settle, settling somewhere in the region of $4 billion last year. And the exchange of just those charging documents, those invoices, it's around about 140,000 invoices a month. So a significant amount of um, calculations and settlement. Yeah, I mean, the, the scale is just enormous. And is that all roaming related? No, no, it's not. And, and this is another interesting uh, concept. We really think of it as a multi-service settlement hub. And that's where you're not just using this multilateral netting for, for settling and clearing uh, roaming. We're actually using it for SMS interworking, uh, IoT discounting, uh, A to P messaging. Uh, we're now seeing RCS come into the picture. And there's also uh, BCE, the billing and charging evolution, which is the new file format, the GSMA. So we're able to take all of that service type traffic for an operator and run it through this multi-service settlement hub so you get that cash flow efficiency. Uh, one last thing I wanted to ask you, Billy, was, was about the topic of uh, automation. What do you offer your customers to increase operational efficiency? Well, what we allow them to do is access all of this clearing and settlement information uh, through one single portal. So everything's on one ledger, all through one set of reportings. So an operator is able to run and execute management reports so that they can make very high level business decisions. It's really as simple as that, a click of a button. Billy, it's always so great to speak to you. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, you're welcome. Have a great day.